Hi loves, welcome back to our channel. This is Jerry and for today's video, I'm going to be unboxing these cute new products from The Coop Idea. The Coop Idea is a unique brand that specializes in tech accessories. They collaborate with various different brands to create the cute designs that they offer. Today, I'm going to be sharing items from their collaboration with Sanrio Little Twin Stars. Let's get right into it. Alright, so I have all of the items from the Sanrio Twin Stars collaboration with the Coop Idea right here. I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys one item at a time. I'm going to start with this one. And it's really cute. This one says it's a Little Twin Stars magnetic card wallet. And you can see in the design here, it's like a claw machine with a Kiki and Lala on the inside and little stars and stuff. And it's really cute. This is the side. In the back here, there's a photo that shows you how you would just stick it to the back of your phone. It's magnetic, so there's no adhesive or anything. It should just um, stick to the back of your phone. It's showing you here that it holds up to two cards. There's a sliding hole at the back to um, slide the card out easily. And it's compatible with iPhone 12, 12 Pro, and 12 Pro Max. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. I just want to say that I think the box is so cute. There's a Kiki here and a Lala there and there's a Kiki Lala um, pattern in the back and it's just really detailed and really nice and unfortunately in my opinion a lot of these Sanrio collaborations don't always hit the mark but I feel like this collaboration was really beautiful and I'm really happy with the packaging and um, the items so far. So here's the wallet case. And in the back here, you can see the hole that um, it talked about. So if you were to put your card in here, you can slide it out easily um, by pressing here and sliding up. Now, unfortunately, I actually use my cell phone for recording. So that's what I'm recording on right now. So I can't show you how this works on there. But I'll try to use my husband's phone later to record. And um, I'll, show, I'll put in a few clips and show you guys how this looks on my phone but I did try it and it does work so I just wanted you guys to know that and it's super cute I love this pink it's like kind of like matches my nails it's um a cooler pink and that's my favorite type of pink so next item I want to show you guys is this item here and this is a fast wireless charging pad also little twin stars little twin stars themed and I thought it was so beautiful they're sitting on the cloud they have their little moon and star and I thought it was just so cute here's showing you a picture in the back the wire um, it shows here what the package includes one wireless charging pad one type C cable and one user's manual here are the dimensions and it shows here that it's a Sunreal licensed item so let's go ahead and open this one up Okay, so here's the um, charging pad itself, and here's the cable that it came with. Seems to also come with a little um, warning paper and a user's manual. So here's just a little troubleshooting and specifications and a little step-by-step -step, um, manual. So this is actually surprisingly a lot lighter than I thought it would be but it's still like sturdy feeling and it's very thick which I appreciate and it has these little feet at the bottom so that um, it won't move too much or slide around it actually has a really nice grip and it's really detailed and the colors are really beautiful so let's go ahead and connect this where did that charging cable? oh here it is Okay, so you connect the Type-C port um, plug, sorry, into here, and then you would plug this into um, an adapter. You can plug it into your computer too, or any other um, USB adapter that you have. I have this lavender one that I got at TJ Maxx, 
and it has two um, wall plugs and two USB plugs. So I'm just going to connect this into here and put that aside. And then this, and that's how um, you would have it connected on your desk. You can see from the LED light that it's on. And to charge your phone, all you would have to do is place it on here. So I'll show you guys that. Um, I'll try to insert some clips of that later. I actually grabbed my husband's phone for you guys really quick and you just place it on like that and you can see it's already charging. So I think that's really cool and really convenient. I love wireless chargers because I um, use my phone for work a lot so I'm always picking it up and putting it down. So I think this is really cute and adorable and this is probably going to be um, my most used item. The next item that I want to share with you guys is this um, set of watch straps. And they're little twin stars, little twin stars themed, of course. And this comes with two watch straps for the 42 millimeter and the 44 millimeter Apple Watch. So we know right away that unfortunately it's not going to fit my watch because I have the 40 miller, 40 millimeter um, SE, and it shows here that it's compatible with only the 44 millimeter SE or the 42 millimeter one, two, and three. So I'm still going to um, show it to you guys. I did go on their website and check if they had other sizes. And unfortunately, these are the only sizes that they're offering right now. The box is really cute though and really sturdy. And I just, I think it's so beautiful. I love it. And right here on the inside, there are instructions for how to remove your um, bands and place the new bands on. And it um, tells you again here which models it's compatible with. So it comes with this little twin stars um, themed one and this white one. So let's try to get this open so that you guys can get a better look. Alright, so here they are. I'm going to take out the little twin stars and the white one. Alright, so here's a better look at the bands. The little twin stars one is just so beautiful. Like, I love this. It has the little house, Kiki Lala. It says little twin stars. And the white leather one is really pretty too. So this one, um, I don't believe will fit mine. And I just want to show you in case you're wondering, well, how does it fit? What does it look like? I believe it does go on. It just doesn't fit um, as nicely as you would like. I think a little bit of it sticks out. So it clips in and it's in there really nicely, but if you look closely, you can see a little bit kind of sticks out. It's not as flush as it can be. So if that doesn't bother you, it actually looks like still wearable. I thought it was going to stick out a lot more than it did. It just barely does, but I just wanted to let you guys know about that. Okay, so I put it on. So here's a look at how it fits on my wrist. And yeah, so it just kind of sticks out a little there. Okay, so I do have my husband's um, watch face here and his is the 44 uh, millimeter 6. So it is compatible with these so I just um, borrowed it and I changed the little face out so that here I'll show you guys I changed the little face out so that it matches a little twin stars theme so that you guys can see what it would look like so that's how it's supposed to fit and how it would fit on the 44 um, millimeter Alright, so next item that I would like to show are these Beans Plus, which I was super, super excited about because I've actually seen these um, around. I've seen a few people post about them. Um, not these specific little twin stars, but the Beans Plus by Coop Idea. I'm really excited about They have um, various different Beans Plus 
that in different um, designs with different characters and different brands that they've worked with. Like I said earlier, I'm reviewing for you guys the Little Twin Stars collaboration, but they also have other collaborations with Sanrio, such as a My Melody collaboration, um, a Hello Kitty, a Cinema Roll, and they're all really beautiful and I've seen those. So when I saw these Little Twin Stars Beans Plus, I got really excited and I just thought that it was so cute. There's like one earbud that is Kiki and one that's Lala and that's so cute. So these are their true wireless earbuds. And in the in this package is included two case covers. So it these earbuds come in a charging case similar to AirPods and to Beats. Um, but these are really cute because they have an interchangeable cover that comes with it. And this one comes with two covers. So it has two case covers. Um, it's showing you here that you can change the case cover. Um, you need a power bank for charging or an, a wall outlet. Um, the playing time is 7 hours with a full battery. And it has 1 month on the go battery life, I believe. So these are Beans Plus Little Twin Stars by The Coop Idea, Born Nifty. In the back here it shows you the two designs for the two different cases that it comes with. Um, here is listed the dimensions, the weight, the playtime, all of that important information. And it shows here what the package includes. It says one Beans Plus pairs, true um, wireless pair, three times ear tip pairs. So, oh, that's interesting. They're going to have different um, tips so that it fits your ear um, best. There's also coming with one charging case, one Type-C cable, and one user manual. On this side, it kind of shows you how to change the cover. It tells you again that two covers are included. This is showing you how to charge it with a power bank. And yeah, let's go ahead and open it up. I, again, I have to say that I am so obsessed with this packaging. Like, I love the color block, the pastel, everything. Like, They really hit the mark for me with the um, aesthetics here. Like, I just think this is so beautiful and so Sanrio and so Twin Star. Sometimes people will do collaborations with Sanrio and I'm thinking like, are you even a Sanrio fan? Do you even know what Sanrio aesthetic looks like? Because sometimes it's just like way off mark. But this, this is beautiful. This is exactly what I would have wanted out of a Little Twin Stars collaboration. So we have the beautiful Little Twin Stars image here. It looks like a classic Twin Stars. And then here you can see the different case covers. So let's go ahead and open it up. We have to remove the little tape here first. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Okay, so here are the two cases. I guess here are the accessories. It says, please read the user manual underneath the foam carefully before using the appliance. So here's one case, and here is the second case, and this one actually has the um, device inside. This is so cute, look at this, oh my god it has my heart. This is the second cover, so it's like a magnetic little cover. I'm going to pull the cover off so that we can see inside. Here are the AirPods, and oh my god they're so much nicer than I thought they would be. Like. Oh, they're just so cute and they're like really glossy and highly detailed and they're painted really really well these are really good quality and this is like nice and heavy but not too heavy and so here we have um, it looks like USB-C and uh, USB let's pull these out so they have a magnetic inside and like I said this is for charging just like a AirPods Pro case so um, they just kind of go into place with the magnets and this is what the back looks like. This is the right side. The right side would be Lala. And it comes with the little um, silicone earbud cover. I'm going to go ahead and pull Kiki out. Oh, this little plastic was kind of protecting that part there. But we can go ahead and discard that. So here are the little earbuds. Look how cute. Like, tell me you're not going to look so cute listening to music, walking around, and you have a little Kiki and a little Lala on each ear. Like, that is just the most adorable thing. Alright, so let's see what it looks like with this case on. So you would just put the device on like that and then close it like so. That is so cute! 
this one is adorable too so if you wanted to do all pink like I have an all pink purse just put this in there and it matches and it goes with the theme but if you wanted to do like pastel and do something a little more fun this one's really neat so I really love that I wonder if they'll sell um, the covers from the other collaborations separately that would be really cool because like I said they have a lot of um, different collaborations that they've done neat all right let's go ahead and see what else is in the box seems like we have the user's manual in there and this is the little accessories box. We have the little charging cable. And we have the little um, ear silicone adapters to fit your ear vest. So these you're gonna charge um, similarly to how I showed you um, connecting the power bank. Where did they go? Well, here they are. So you just lift this flap up like this, and I think that's why it's shaped this way. It has that line there, so it's easy to lift the flap up. And you can pick if you're going to charge, like if you connected this in, then you the output would be um, USB-C. So you can connect this to like your switch or to um, your computer or whatever USB-C connection you have. But I'm going to go the other way, and I'm going to connect this one here. And then over here on my purple um, adapter that I got from TJ Maxx, I'm going to also put the um, Beans Plus. And I don't know if you can see, but it's, there's like a blinking light in there. And that lets you know that it's charging. So we can just put those aside and let that charge up. Because I'm not sure if it comes with the full charge. We'll have to look at the instructions right now. Alright, so the little paper that came in here is actually really informative and easy to read. It has a step-by-step. -step. It's letting you know here the contents, um, the pre-use setup. So they're here, they're recommending you to try each of the sizes. They have a small, medium, large, so try them all to see which one fits best. Here's if you have any questions as far as what's what or the vocabulary that they're using in the manual. You can refer to this diagram and it lets you know everything here. Type C input, LED lights. So so on and so forth here number two is how to charge and it's letting you know just exactly how i showed you you can charge it with your computer a port um, whichever way is best for you you can even use a power bank like it's showing here it's showing you how to wear correct wearing position so you're going to put it in your ear and then rotate slightly till you it's at this um, angle Tilt and insert the earbud into your ear, rotate slightly to get better fit and performance. Here showing you how to pair, pick up the earbuds from the charging case, turn on the Bluetooth of your device, search and connect to the earbuds if that's the first time. So that seems pretty easy. Here is the battery status. White means that the earbuds are charging, off means that they are fully charged white flashes is charging case is charging and that's what i showed you on this one it was like kind of flashing the white color so if it's full white the charging case is fully charged that's how we'll know it's charged if it's blue it means that the earbuds themselves are charging and if it's off it means that the earbuds are fully charged here we have touch control and that's really cool and interesting i didn't know that it would be so advanced as to have touch control so i'm really glad that i read this this is very interesting so it has a manual on off so you would hold down on the left or the right for two seconds to power them on and you would hold down for five seconds to power off or to idle for five minutes to connect to your siri or your google assist so that's really cool these will connect to let you talk to your siri or if you have um, an android to your google assistant you would just tap four times so one two three four and you'd be able to call um, pull up Siri and then there's some for phone calls for answering for hanging up for dropping music playing choices so there's a lot that you can do with the touch controls on these and I think that's really cool here's the LED status so make sure if you buy these make sure you read this and you read all of the um, different things that you can do with it all right so last item in the collection that I'm really excited to show you guys is this wireless keyboard and mouse set um, on the front here is a little a graphic of what the keyboard and the mouse actually look like and here it lets you know that it supports a wireless 2.4 gig connection and it 
has a keyboard and mouse set, LED indicator, and an energy saving mode. Here's the side. We have oh, Kiki here, Lala on that side. Let's see the back. It just has dimensions, the battery, um, keyboard, two triple A not included, mouse, one double A not included. Package includes one wireless keyboard, one wireless mouse, and one user ma manual. Let's go ahead and open it up. Here's the keyboard and the mouse. Oh! I think this is just so cute, like the little packaging for the mouse. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all I'm gonna go ahead and get this all out of the packaging and lay it out to show you guys more detail. Alright, so I went ahead and took everything out of the box. There's this clear plastic. I'm gonna remove it. Really shiny, really pretty. And this is like a nice weight. It's not super light, but it's not really heavy either. It feels really good quality and as far as it looks, I think it looks really beautiful and I'm really happy with it. I love the like um, touches of pink, the little kikis, the little lalas, the space bar is so cute. And look at this heart, like that is so cute. The little star. This is what it looks like from the sides. Here's a little battery indicator, and I think this is so you know if it's on caps or not. It's really simple but really um, nice, and I'm really excited about it because I wanted a simple keyboard like this. Here's where you put the batteries. It takes two AAA batteries, and I already went ahead and put those in there. This is what the mouse looks like. It has a really nice click. Little roller. It has like a little crane game theme to it and they're picking out a little Kiki doll and here's a little pile of Kiki and Lala dolls. It's this super pastel pink color here and a very light blue here. Under here this is where the battery goes. It's one AA battery. I already went ahead and put one in there and then here is the little USB. So you would for this to be wireless, you would connect this into the device that you were um, going to use the mouse with. So if I was going to use this with my computer, my computer doesn't have like a USB connection like this, but I do have an adapter, so I would just plug in the adapter and then, oh, <laughs> plug this into the adapter and then I can use the, this mouse on my laptop. And I'm hoping to get an iPad soon and I've never had one before, so if you guys have any idea let me know but I'm hoping I'll be able to use this with the iPad as well hopefully there's like an adapter or something that I can use too okay so I put the batteries in and I'm trying to connect it to my laptop to see how it works the mouse I connected right here into the USB adapter thing and it just started working right away I didn't have to do anything and then it popped out this um, keyboard assistant setup thing which I don't know if you guys can see but it looks pretty simple, so I'm just going to go through it. Identify your keyboard. Press the key immediately to the right of the shift key on the left side of the keyboard. That's this one. Okay. Press the key immediately to the, sh to the left <laughs> of the shift key. Press the key immediately to the left of the shift key on the right side of the keyboard. So I'm thinking this one. Okay, and then it says your keyboard has been identified. Click the done to start using your keyboard. If this isn't the correct type of keyboard, select the type and click done. And this is ANSI, United States and other standard 10 key or uh, or, sorry, standard 101 key or 102 key keyboard and some other. Or, so that's what it identified it as, but there's also ISO European and JIS Japanese. But I'm going to go ahead with the one that it identified, the United States, because I'm guessing they know more than I do. And then done. And I think that that should be all. So the mouse is working really well. I'm going to go ahead and just open up like um, notes or something so that we can see how the keyboard works. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna open up a notepad, like I said, or a memo pad. And this mouse, like, I think we need to go into the preferences because I'm having to, like, it feels really slow. But let's test out the keyboard first. I've never used notes, okay. <laughs> okay, so let's just type in. Okay, so it seems to work really well easy to use it connected really easily okay so now that we know that that works and it connected really easily let's go ahead and change the settings on this mouse and see if it's going to be easier to use if we just tweak the settings so I'm going to the mouse and the track speed is like kind of slow so I'm going to move that to fast and see okay that made a big difference like you see just one movement you can get all the way across the screen now so I won't have to like lift it and move it I think that's a lot better and a lot easier to use all right so at the end of the day I would say I'm really happy with all of these products I think they're all really great um, I think I, I'm honestly having trouble picking a favorite. I think my favorite is probably going to have to be the earbuds or the keyboard. Or actually, maybe even the charging. I think I'm going to use the um, phone charger thing a lot. So that's why I'm saying it's hard to pick a favorite because these are all really useful items and, like, all together, they really um, like amp up your setup and make it really cute and more functional so I feel like they're all great products um, I'm really excited about this um, keyboard and mouse because I don't have a separate keyboard and mouse and I think this is really really nice so I am excited about that and I'm excited about how easy everything was to use like everything came with a manual but it was just so easy to connect everything and everything seemed so like intuitive like it didn't there wasn't anything that was hard to use so I'm really happy about that. So yeah, at the end of the day, I love all of the products. I'm happy with everything. I only wish that the watch bands fit my watch because I love them and they're really high quality and really beautiful. So that's probably my only complaint is that I wish I had the, right, the correct size for these. Other than that, everything was great. And I believe that's all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Love you guys so much. See you in the next one. Kitty and Jerry.